Now that we have understood what is this permissionless blockchain, permissioned blockchains and things like that, we are going to look into the use cases of blockchain. Okay, I have understood the technology, how it works and things like that. Where do I apply them? Right? In which industries is it useful? And all of that we will be discussing in this particular case. Out of this list, we are first going to look at the supply chain use cases of this blockchain technology. Now, what is supply chain? Supply chain in general is your uh, movement of goods, right? When you want to uh, transfer some goods from let's say US to India, yeah, Apple transporting all of their MacBooks and iPhones to all the countries around the world, especially let's say one country uh, for an example is India, right? They do it using ships and all the logistics involved in transporting from their headquarters to the port where they offload that into the ships and the ships carry through multiple ports into India. All of this comes under logistics and supply chain management. It's the movement of goods that's called as supply chain. Now in the supply chain world, if you look at uh, movement of goods from the US to India, right, it doesn't uh, carry a straight route from uh, let's say US port to Indian port. Right. It travels through the seas and then goes to Africa and then they uh, gather multiple goods together or distribute the goods among different ships and then from there it comes to Sri Lanka and then it comes to India. Right. So that's how this entire supply chain works which means there's a lot of intermediaries and authorities which are involved in this supply chain management which happens at a global scale. Now, consider this transaction itself, you have uh, the supplier, right, who gives the goods and there is a bank which provides a letter of credit, there is bill of lading, there is the port authorities, there is customs authorities, there is the shipper and the port authorities in Africa, port authorities in Sri Lanka, port authorities in the uh, place where this is the destination. In India also, we have a lot of port authorities and customs and all of that for clearance, right. So all of these people will come into a single network called the blockchain. This gives a lot of efficiency because IBM, which is one of the forerunners in creating a supply chain management based on blockchain, they have done this research where it says it takes more time for getting the approvals from the authorities than the actual time the ship takes to come from there to here. Right? In the early days when digitalization was not there, all the people send the goods and after reaching the destination port, the ship uh, is stranded in that port without, you know, letting the goods in, right? So this person gets the approval from the or origin country, travels to the destination country by flight and submits the approvals. So that's how it used to happen, it seems. Now, even uh, after digitization and all of these things, it was a difficult, cumbersome process because the port authorities and customs authorities and banks don't trust each other, right? They want approvals by hand, original papers and things like that. That's the reason it takes a lot of time. But because blockchain is immutable, transparent and all of that, they believe in this technology and they trust this technology and whatever data is written into this particular uh, ledger, you know, called as blockchain. Now, when you include supply chain management and bring all of these uh, multiple parties that are involved in a particular supply chain trade, right together into a blockchain based solution they all uh, enter whatever data they want to once it is approved it becomes a transaction into the ledger called as blockchain and that becomes immutable so that the other person the other port which wants to verify this approval can easily do that for the customer also you will get real time updates of where this particular uh, product is where that you shipped right if there is a last minute change you will be able to change that very easily when it comes to blockchain these are the advantages of using supply chain management and you can see here that you, because you use blockchain in supply chain management, you can achieve transaction settlement very easily between the blank, the letter of credit and things. Auditing transparency, the regulators are also part of this blockchain network and hence auditing is made pretty easy using this blockchain. Tracking social responsibilities, accurate costing information, how much it takes, etc. Better shipping data, real-time updates for the customer, preventing compliance violations because uh, once it is approved by your party, you can easily authenticate that party only approved it and the approval cannot be tampered because it is in a blockchain, right? It gives complete provenance, 
provenance is the name given for tracking of some goods right from their source to destination so that can be achieved using blockchain in supply chain management as well reducing the human errors where uh, we know that humans uh, make errors a lot of times and hence it reduces human errors because the endorsement policies and the rules of the game is already embedded into the blockchain application you will have automated purchasing and planning automation uh, can be improvised using blockchain enforcing uh, tariffs and trade policies between multiple countries they have multiple policies of what goods can enter what goods can go out how much quantity and things like that you have food safety that is uh, we are going to look at an example of ibm food mart right in the next uh, slide of course you can also reduce counterfeit goods yeah there is this uh, uh, example called as Everledger, which I'll talk about, and that reduces counterfeit goods using blockchain, of course, right? To explain this, how it is uh, really wonderful to use blockchain in supply chain, you need to definitely look at this example called as Trade Lens. Trade Lens is a blockchain built by Maersk. If you know Maersk, this is the largest logistics company in the world, right? So they went to IBM and they told this is the problem that we are facing when it comes to supply chain. Can blockchain solve this? And IBM being an open source uh, contributor to Hyperledger, they created this blockchain called as Trade Lens, not only for Maersk, but for the entire supply chain industry. Yeah. Now, Trade Lens works in the same way that uh, we described. And if you go to tradelens.com, as you can see here, you will be able to go through all of the goodness of blockchain that they are implementing and what is the efficiency that they achieved right now you can watch this video this is a beautiful video which a lot of animations and uh, trade lens has explained it very well how blockchain is helping them bring multiple parties together and bring in trust into the system right one beautiful thing happened with trade lens is that uh, as soon as Maersk introduced this trade lens for the industry they went to their competitors and asked for uh, can you join this you know uh, blockchain which I have created and your process will become more efficient those people did not understand blockchain fully they probably would have gone through some uh, article about blockchain which talks about transparency etc and they thought all the trades that they do also will be visible to uh, this Maersk who is their competitor right so they did not join the organization or this trade lens blockchain before and after two three months of time when this trade lens became successful and all of most uh, ships passed through the ports without a lot of issues and uh, this uh, authorities and all easily approved this right they also thought okay this should be a good solution and they also joined into trade lens blockchain now trade lens contains nearly 70 percent of the shippers in the world into this blockchain and all of the regulatory authorities, the customs authorities, port authorities, banks, everyone is involved and they are all nodes inside this blockchain. So definitely go watch this video. It's a short video, like uh, three and a half minutes. So you can watch that and get to understand visually how TradeLens sees blockchain as being useful to this supply chain management industry. Right. Next, we'll talk about this called as IBM Foot Trust. Okay. IBM Food Trust started with Walmart and IBM. Walmart, as you know, is a, uh, one of the largest supermarket chains in the world, right? So they are retailers who sell a lot of products. In one scenario, what happened was they uh, had to distribute Chinese pork to the entire US and uh, one of the batches of this Chinese pork was stale. So they, did not, uh, they were not able to find out which batch of this Chinese pork that we have sent out to the entire US was stale. They had to recall it, right? Now, since they were not able to track it perfectly, they had to recall the entire batch for that day, right? They caught, that cost them millions of dollars. And that's when they decided we need to have the perfect traceability solution when it comes to these goods. And that's why they went to IBM and they started this IBM Food Trust, which tracks each and every good that they do from its origin to the uh, retail space and to the customer. Now, what happens is, there are multiple nodes within the block, permission to blockchain called as IBM Food Trust, right? Let's say I am the manufacturer of Chinese pork and I enter the details saying this is when I manufactured this and uh, my name is this and put my digital signature etc. That goes as a transaction into the blockchain called as IBM Food Trust. Then it goes to the logistics person. One person carries all the goods. Then it goes to the distribution center. Then it goes to the hub. Then it flies to the US. 
then in the us you have multiple hubs and all of it gets spread each and every point of this transaction right the details are entered into the blockchain and when it reaches the us you can easily bring in efficiency by traceability of the goods tomorrow don't be uh, surprised if you can go to this supermarket you can just scan a qr code or a barcode just like you can see here for oranges and this ibm food trust will show you what is the exact traceability of your entire product this not only helps walmart but also the customer in gaining trust towards what they buy right uh, multiple applications of this include um, drug traceability in healthcare and uh, you can also look at everledger which is a diamond tracing platform everledger started with diamond tracing because uh, in diamonds if you consider there is blood diamonds there is smuggled diamonds and a lot of things right now everledger says i will uh, give a blockchain right where the miner who mines this uh, diamond raw diamond then it goes for cutting polishing logistics distribution then comes to retail then comes to the customer right so this entire process will be noted down on the blockchain you cannot uh, let's say uh, corrupt a public public officer or the customs officer and uh, make him you know change something in the database yeah to uh, from a smuggled diamond to a actual diamond you cannot give fake certificates for the diamond right so because all of these details become immutable once you add it in a database there is crud operations right you can update you can delete you can do whatever you want so tomorrow when you go to let's say a uh, jeweler and you want to buy some diamonds you can easily scan the uh, infrared barcode given inside the diamond it's imprinted within the diamond itself you can scan that and make sure the diamond that you're buying is not a blood diamond is not a smuggled diamond this everledger concept also says that they are reducing a lot of insurance frauds that happen in the world right uh, nearly about two to three billion dollars are being saved for the diamond industry because of this insurance fraud alone so these are the things that you need to look at when it comes to supply chain management using the blockchain definitely watch this trade lens video read more about everledger and ibm food trust you will get a very good idea of what i am talking about